Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about basics of PLSQL like how to display the output, how to initialize the variables, how to read the input from the user and how to write a PLSQL program to compute the sum of two numbers. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. If you want to display the output, we have a built-in package called dbms underscore output. So the outputs are displayed using dbms underscore output which is a built-in package that enables the user to display the output directly. So we have a package called dbms underscore output. Using this package we can display the output on the console. Now first let me write a program to display the output on the console using the PLSQL. Now you know that if you want to declare any variables then you can use the declare statement however it is an optional. But in this program I don't want to discuss or declare any variables so I will avoid the declare session. I will start with the begin statement and then I will write dbms underscore output and then in the package you have a put underscore line okay using this one we can display the output and whatever the string you want to display you have to enclose within the single quotes only so let me write welcome to Parnika tutorials and finally you need to end with a semicolon and then you need to write an end statement end with a semicolon then you have to provide the backslash now you can see PLSQL procedure successfully completed but we did not get any output called welcome to Pernika tutorials. If you does not get any output then you need to type this command set server output on end with semicolon. Now if you write the PLSQL programs you will get the output. Let me write the program again begin dbms underscore output dot put underscore line then I will write welcome to Pernika tutorials in the single quotes end with the semicolon then you need to end and then backslash now you can see we got the output as welcome to Pernika tutorials so this is the program of PLSQL to display the output on the console. So you have to use dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then whatever you want to display you can display using the single quotes. Let me write Pernika tutorials end with semicolon. So like this you can display anything on the console. Now we will discuss what is the variable and how can we initialize the variable. What is a variable? Variable is a name given to some memory location or I can say variable is a container which is used to store the values or the constants. So the variables can be initialized just like other programming languages. So how you will write? You will write the data type and then variable and whatever the value you want to pass you can write it. But this initializing the variables you need to provide in the declare section only. So I will write variable name and then I need to provide the data type and then I need to use the assignment operator. Okay, so the assignment operator in PLSQL will be represented like this whereas in other programming languages we use the equal but here we need to use the assignment operator like this. So you need to write the variable name, data type, assignment operator and whatever the constant you want to provide you can provide end with semicolon. Now what I will do is that I will write a PLSQL program to initialize the variables and I will display some output. So as I said earlier you need to declare the variables in the declare session. So I will write declare and then I will write var1 which is a variable and the data type is integer assignment operator and then I will give the value 2 and then I will open the begin statement and then I will write 
write dvms underscore output dot put underscore line and then i want to display the value of the variable one so i will write var1 end with the semicolon end with the semicolon means end section with the semicolon backslash now you can see we got the output as two so like this we can declare the variables how many variables you want to declare you can declare all those variables also now simply let me write a simple program to declare the two variables and compute the sum of them so then i will write var1 which is the variable name integer is the data type and i will give the value as 20 similarly i will write var2 which is a variable to integer data type and then i will write some value 30 now in the begin session i want to compute the sum of this one and perform the addition here you will get an error let me because we have written the begin and then column that is wrong so let me write again declare var1 integer having the value 20 var2 which is another variable integer type assignment operator value 30 and then i will write the begin statement and then i will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then i will perform the addition of variable one and variable two end with the semicolon then write the end statement end with the semicolon then backslash now you can see we got the output as 50 because var1 having the value 20 var2 having the value 30 i have performed var1 plus var2 so 20 plus 30 you will get the output as 50 okay now you can ask me one thing sir you have declared the variables and then you have assigned some constant and then you have performed the addition and that addition you have displayed as an output now instead of giving some value directly i want to read the input from the user and whatever the input user has entered for that one i want to perform some operation either it is an addition or subtraction whatever it is so now we will discuss how to read the input from the user we can take the input from the user and store it in a variable so how to read the input you need to write the variable name and then you need to provide the data type and then assignment of operator now if you want to read the variable var1 then you have to write var1 at the rate okay and with the semicolon if you want to have a variable of string type or varchar type then you need to write varchar2 of size 30 and then assignment operator equal to as it is a string you need to read within the single quote so you need to write vr2 within the single quotes end with the semicolon so if you are reading either a string or a date then you need to enclose that one using the single quotes if you are reading an an integer value then you can simply write at the rate and the variable name okay so now let me discuss a simple program how to read the value from the user and display the output in plsql so i will open the sql plus i will write declare and then i will write var1 which is of an integer and then i will write an assignment and then i will write var1 end with the semicolon then i will open the begin statement dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then i will write var1 end with the semicolon end end with the semicolon backslash now it is asking the user to enter the value for the var1 let me enter the value as 35 now you can see we got the output as 35 here okay so this is the way we can ask the user to enter the value for a particular variable and then we can perform the operation so what i will do here is that i will write a plsql program to compute the sum of two variables or two numbers so first what i need to write i need to write the declare session 
okay and then i need to declare the variables let me declare the variable a of an integer type assignment operator and then i need to write the ampersand a and then i will ask the user to read the value for the variable b end with the semicolon then i will start the begin session and in the begin session i will perform the sum so i will write c is equal to so i will declare another variable here c which is an integer end with the semicolon so i have declared three variables a b c now what i will do c is equal to a plus b i will perform end with the semicolon then i will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line i will write the sum is i need to enclose within the single quotes then i need to provide the concatenation and then variable c end with the semicolon then you need to write the end end with the semicolon then backslash so this is the program which will take the two variables input from the user and compute the sum and display the output so the same one i will write in the sql plus first i will declare the session and then i will write a which is of an integer and then i will ask the user to enter the variable a value and similarly variable b data type is integer value b then i will declare another variable is c of an integer then i will start the begin session then i will write c assignment operator a plus b so uh, the result is stored in the variable c now i want to display the result so i will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line then i will write here the sum is and then concatenation operation and then c end with the semicolon end session end with the semicolon backslash now it is asking the user to enter the a value let me enter the a value is 45 b value is 55 now you can see we got the output as the sum is 100 so like this you can write a plsql code to read the two inputs from the user and compute the sum and display the output similarly i want to write a plsql program to perform the difference so what i will do here in place of a plus b i will write a minus b and here in place of the sum the difference is first let me clear the screen clr scr end with the semicolon let me write clr yeah it, the screen has been cleared let me again set server output on end with the semicolon now i will have the declare and then i have a variable a and i'll ask the user to enter the a value and then i will have another variable b and i'll ask the user to enter the value for the variable b and i will declare another variable is of c of an integer type and then i will have the begin session and then i will perform c assignment operator a plus b and now i want to print the output like this the difference of a and b is c i want to do okay oh here i have to perform a minus b right i have performed a plus b okay let me i know the, you will get an error so again let me write the program declare a data type is integer and i'll ask the user to enter the a value similarly variable b data type is integer i'll ask the user to enter the value for the variable b and i have declared another variable called c which is of an integer type and then i will start the begin session and then i will perform c is equal to a minus b so here c is the one variable a and b are another variable now i want to display the output so dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then here i will write into the single quotes the difference is or let me write the difference of 
ये ओके एंड देन एंड बी कॉन्केटनेशन विथ इन द सिंगल कोर्स इज देन आई वॉन्ट टू राइट हियर द सी वैल्यू ओके लेट मी एंड विथ द सेमी कॉलम राइट द एंड स्टेटमेंट एंड विथ द सेमी कॉलम देन दिस वन सो ए वैल्यू लेट मी राइट फिफ्टी फाइव बी वैल्यू इज थर्टी नाउ वट इज द इश्यू वी हैव फेस्ड वी हैव गिवेन अ स्पेस हियर दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम वी आर फेसिंग ओके लेट मी राइट प्रॉपरली declare a b c and dbms underscore output dot put underscore line the difference of i have ended it and then concatenation i have to write the a value and then here again concatenation and then end concatenation b concatenation is then concatenation c end with semicolon now it is fine let me save it and close this one and then let me have the backslash it is asking the user to enter the a value which is 55 b value let me enter as 30 now you can see the difference of 55 and 30 is 25 so like this you are getting the proper output so i hope you have understood how to display the output how to declare the variables how to read the input from the user and then how to write a plsql program to read the two values from the user and perform the addition and subtraction if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video Have a nice day